if you use Google Analytics 4 with Squarespace, you may have run into this really annoying issue where the values for the e-commerce purchases are not being tracked. So I have this problem in my own Squarespace e-commerce Google Analytics 4 setup. So I wanted to figure out what was going on and I'm 99% sure I figured out what is the uh, what is the problem and I'm also going to kind of explain what's the solution going to be. All right, so what I did uh, I went to Google Tag Manager, fired up the Google Tag Assistant, which um, kind of allows me to see under the hood all the events that are being sent to uh, Google Analytics, and I made a couple of test purchases. So this test purchase is kind of a real purchase. And uh, so I bought... Uh, sorry, that's not the right one, I think. Yeah, this is the right one. So this was a real uh, kind of real purchase I did on my own website uh, here. Order confirmed for 72 cents. And I thought, you know, everything looks pretty good and went to Google Analytics debug view where I saw the purchase here and I was like, huh, everything looks uh, to be correct. Well, okay, that was the wrong one again. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, maybe it's this one. Yeah, 72. And I bought the currency converter, actually two of them. Okay, so what is the problem here? Why the hell am I not getting this item revenue? So I googled around and found this interesting article. Currency value is missing. So if everything's set up correctly, blah, blah, blah. Um, if we are, if we do not have the currency, for example, US do dollars or Euro or something like that, then apparently it doesn't track the conversion, uh, the e-commerce purchases. So it, it seems to me that the Google, the built-in Google Analytics uh, setup for Squarespace is shit. It doesn't work at the moment. So this is super annoying. There has been tons of problems with this, but this is, well, I guess it's an improvement that it tries to track e-commerce purchases. But the problem is that if we don't get the value, it's you know, the value is zero for this integration as well. Okay, so what I did then was I made a test kind of fake uh, purchase here. So I'm going to make a test, test, blah, blah, blah. Price could be like 100 and let's make it 300 something like, well actually I'm gonna make it a little bit less so it won't actually mess up my data uh, 10 sounds good US dollars perfect item ID let's change this to something okay then I'm gonna send this fake uh, currency event thing purchase it and then in Google tag assistant we can see an interesting difference so this one with the 72 cents, as you can see, has, you know, ID, value, shipping, tax, but it doesn't have the currency code, just like this uh, lovely blog post is, is telling us that. So uh, Squarespace isn't se is not sending the currency code, so it feels like it's in line with this one. So let's take a look at my kind of fake uh, purchase event, which is a better one. And here, okay. <clears throat> oh, sorry, there it is. Currency, US dollar. So request number, currency session ID, request number. Request number, currency, session ID. Request 
request number, no currency, and session ID. So I'm like 99% sure that this is the problem. So, okay, I guess we'll just kind of have two options here. We can wait until Squarespace hopefully uh, fixes this problem or we can take the matter into our own hands. So the way we should do it is we should go to our uh, kind of custom uh, code injection part. We should make a uh, data layer thing here on, on the uh, thank you page, which is going to send the order information and the conversion value to Google uh, Tag Manager data layer. And then we could just send the uh, conversion ourselves. Maybe we could even add like the currency here. Or something like this. I'm not sure if there's a variable, but you know, we could add it here, we could add it to a Google Tag Manager, and then we would just create our own tag for GA4. And then set this up. So I suppose it'll be something like this, or a better solution is to use send e-commerce data using the data layer from from our order confirmation page uh, data layer thing so i definitely i'm definitely gonna set this up for myself this way if you want to hire me for example if you need a custom consultation to get google analytics for and squarespace working you can get in touch with me and i can install this for you as Squarespace has been super slow with the GA4 integration and it still has kind of deal-breaking bugs. All right, I hope this was helpful. I'll let you know if my tests are successful and if I get the item revenue for my kind of fake purchase. Until then, uh, feel free to get in touch if you need help with this.